Hello and welcome to another episode of Rift Raker with me, Skars. And we're going to continue here on our playthrough. Uh, we need to be exploring our new areas here. And one of the things I want to do... Uh, let's just take some... Let's just do a defense wall over here. Use that as our block off zone here. Oh no, there's this dudes. We're gonna have to get rid of them before I do any form of towers. Because he's just gonna crash into the wall straight away. Which we don't want. shooting right across. Okay, there, that's gonna attract those creatures in, which is not really what I wanted. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. One of those blueprints we need to actually let's have a look where it is. Okay, repair tools for me, that's fantastic. Um yeah, we need to add that into our list. Repair towers. Yeah. Put out some more of these. Base is under attack. Uh, but it's, it's our walls, we should be okay. Cool. Galatea's solar system is quite a busy place. It looks like these eclipses may happen more often. Yeah, let's let's go, let's go. Uh, did we finish? I think we're actually prepping for an attack. We need to get that upgraded. So, okay, let's go up here and fortify this area a little bit more. And let's get some weapons in. So. We're good to go with that. We'll just go, yes, please, upgrade. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of yeah. attention. Those are the two areas. Let's strengthen our defenses. Okay, so let's yeah, let's strengthen up these particular ones here. Yeah? And hopefully we can get get them into the zone. Oh. Might help if I do that. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. This. This does tend to attract them in when you do have some structures. This way, we, we do want to avoid them coming this way. If they can come in the top, it would be great. Okay, let's sell off some assets there. Looks like that one's finished. Good. Any upgrades we can do? Let's just double check. Got the energy farm up here. Yeah, no, we're still all good. 17 seconds. Uh, let's check, is this wall okay? 
Okay, what I'm gonna do is just put down some of my personal defenses. Let's just do my sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching. Up there and we'll okay. we'll come start this one that. over here. Easier to they definitely more attracted to your character. So we'll start them off here. I can see them coming in on the map. Have come in the direction I wanted them, which is great. Not the ones I'm too worried about. It's, has been developed. New are it's more if they come with those stone giants. Okay, just to check what we've got. Vincent's tools. Okay, let's while we in pause. Let's go crafting. Energy sensors give us some resource drops, mod drops. Okay, so let's craft crafting one of those. And then we don't need that one. We're gonna take this one. Crafting completed. Yeah, so we want two crafting completed. Repairs. Crafting completed. Okay, and I don't think there was any of the weapon upgrades for us yet. We've got the those ones. Okay, so let's just upgrade ourselves here. Pair, and this one was titanium. And we can double check if we've got anything that's fire rate. Okay, no, I think we're good there. Uh, flamethrower, any improvements we can do here? We've got damage over time. No, I don't think we've been picking up any new and exciting stuff there, so let's just carry on with this. A building has been destroyed. Alright, let's go Our have a look. Has been destroyed. That is quite a horde coming through. Yeah, okay, breach could be higher up there where we've just had a couple of walls to distract them. Oh, I didn't not realize we actually had some things here. Whoa. Okay, let's sort out this crowd. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. It's a higher wall. At least putting those static walls in the middle of nowhere, it does things like that. Where it at least distracts some of those big guys for a short while. Yeah, so now we can see the go check on any benefits we've got from upgrading. Okay. Let's see if we can build more of these. No, not yet. Yeah, 
Okay. This is going to probably just open up if we can get this. How we don't need some of those yet. Uh, purples. Okay, we're going to start researching them soon. Any mission specific stuff? I think we've got all of those taken care of. Okay, so. Here we go, we can go visit, do our last reconnaissance before getting into all these different outposts. Um, I suppose, yeah, let's do this one next, I think. Yeah. So check out this next, it's a bit of a side quest, it does help doing it. Oh, these maps do take a little time to load. But I don't think there, there's not much to do or build on this map. It's basically just this side quest part. Let's make sure we scan. We've got to scan everything on every map as much as possible. This Dregoros breeding area is located in a narrow, rocky valley. Its layout works like a large wind tunnel and creates an almost constant dust storm. It is going to be difficult to fight these creatures in these conditions. We can gather research samples in a more effective way using the bioscanner. Yeah, and I want to put down an outpost here, yeah, just for now. We can always remove it at a later stage. Scan these creatures from afar without making them aggressive. It is also much quicker at finding good research samples. Ashley, I'm picking up a magnetic anomaly nearby. It might be worth investigating that area. Interesting. But the Maybe student. that's the real reason why there are so many of these creatures in this area. Let's investigate this. Yeah, so let's go. Let's just make sure we scan as we go. Trying to ignore. I can. These guys are hard shell. They actually change as they get closer to you, so they're fairly protected when they. Okay, except my rockets are a little bit overkill for them at the moment. Oh. Always good to get those scans up. Area, just gonna keep scanning, keep scanning. has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Yeah, just take out these ones. Take out everything. There's one of the missions you can <laughs> actually lose by like destroying the targets before you even... So I'm just going to take a walk around. Yeah, 
let's go have a look inside. Yes, see that crystal. Let's get close to it to gather samples. Then we don't want to destroy it. Mm -hmm. I can scan without being attacked by these things. There we go. This crystal behaves in a very strange way. It emits a lot of high frequency electromagnetic waves, but they have a distinct regularity. Almost as if a song was playing that's not meant for our ears. Let's research these samples in our lab. These columns. I'm not detecting any more points of interest in this area. We can rip jump back to base as soon as you are ready. Yeah, there's good stuff to scan. Scan a little bit first. Some of the planets have, especially with the Stigaros as well, um, you can only get the scans on those particular areas, nowhere else. And if you miss it, then there could be tech um, that you're going to miss out on. I've had that before. Not fun when you're trying to build a base and you can't build on the sand. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. That's good. At least on you if we need to come back. We look at some of the research, uh, not research. So those things will be coming. Oh, over there. See, we got to make sure we scan all of these things. So what's worrying me is these two. So we've been on a map that's had them. So on this case, we haven't got to the objective yet. Not yet, not yet. But in these two, we have, but haven't scanned enough to unlock them, uh, which is a bit of a concern. I don't know offhand what's take us hit it out this way. Okay, we need to add stuff onto the queue. So what are we wanting next? Uh, we can add those guys on. Synthesizers that I don't need yet. This we only need when we go to the Metallic Valley. Don't need the Stabilizer. Sentinels 3 we don't need. Um, okay, Plasma. We'll worry about those once we start collecting all the other materials. Okay, we can do Radar. And we can do some of the Energy Upgrades. As well, Flamethrower. That's, that's okay. Okay, that'll keep us busy. Yeah, so I've only explored such a small area of the map. I think just to scan and ignore everything around you. So I just want the plants and maybe some of the creatures. Can just get a big scan, ignore everything around us. Sometimes uh, the creatures also hard in the map, or are only found in specific areas. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit 
crazy and uh, also a bit trapped. Creatures, I'm sure we've seen on these maps on this map top before. I'm not worried about you. I'm just giving a quick explore everywhere. Oh, except now I'm stuck. That's fun. It's not the creature I'm looking for. Yeah, not you either. I think maybe it's is only on the volcanic one, so it appears. Electric floaty dude. So, we finished with the Sigurus Nest, and we can jump to, let's jump to this one, do the other reconnaissance mission. basic exploring, uh, from there it's actual resource collection, mini bases to collect samples of the stuff. And once we've done all those little ones, we can head to our farm. Uh, depending on the layout of the, the map, we can always have more than one farming area, um, or one, more than one farming map. It's best to collect resources from everywhere. Okay, new map. New area lava. Temperature above safety levels. This area is hotter than we expected. My armor is going to sustain damage from the heat. We've landed in the middle of an active volcanic area. We expected high temperatures, but not this high. The measurements from the orbital scanner were different. Something's off. We won't survive here for long. Ashley, I'm detecting multiple temperature anomalies close to our position. It looks like my sensors are broken. The temperature suddenly drops in these areas by hundreds of degrees. We received some anomalous readings. Oh, there's that one we need. This might be it. We have to investigate that. This growth formation is very peculiar. It's a crystal entwined in very strong vines. It looks like this life form actually cultivates this crystal. This crystal contains a rare mineral called ferdinite. It can be used for gravitational field manipulation when combined with a powerful magnetic field. It doesn't worms. We've got worms. <laughs> the magnetic field in this biome is acting completely strange. It is very fitting to see this mineral here. We should definitely research these crystals further. This will allow us to okay. gather more ferdinite and create new equipment. Now what do we have to do? Research Ferdinand handling. Okay, we will get on to that. Oh, he's a big guy. Uh... There we go, okay. 
so there we go that was one of them so let's add it to the research put it at the front of the queue actually want to get that in the queue as well and we just keeps keep scanning and exploring while the research is being done more we can scan the better for the farming later what? what did you say I did not say anything are you breaking down from the heat? No. Are you hallucinating? What? Of course not. Someone screwed up your programming. My programming is impeccable. I was designed and perfected by some of the best programmers that humanity has ever seen. Of course you were. You were the best AI on this planet. This is amazing. These plants are unlike anything I've ever seen before. The temperature around them is much below the freezing temperature of water. Ashley, moving closer to this plant, we can study it from up close and cool off in its aura. The chemical compounds that are secreted by these plants react with the volcanic gases that are present here. This reaction sucks enormous amounts of energy from the space around it, resulting in very rapid cooling of its surroundings. It's an astonishing survival mechanism. We can use this effect to our advantage. The space around these plants is safe for us, so we can use it to regenerate while moving around this biome. Maybe we should try to replicate this effect. We have to gather enough samples of this plant to research it in a lab. We can do that by cutting them down or by using the bioscanner. We've finished researching fernlite handling. The results are amazing. This mineral will allow us to craft entirely new equipment and weapons of extreme quality. The only problem is that we need to find more of this resource. Mr. Riggs, can you search for large condensations of the entwined Ferdinite crystals using the orbital scanner? Roger that, Ashley. I have located a potentially Ferdinite rich location. The Riggs coordinates are marked on the orbital scanner interface. I would strongly suggest using the bio scanner. It is much more effective at gathering usable samples, and it will not destroy our safety zones. We have oh. gathered enough samples to study these cryoplants in our alien research laboratory. Let's do this as soon as possible. If we can learn to replicate this effect, then we should be able to move freely around this bio. Some of the early games these plants were there was actually a bug on one of the maps on the mission maps that they would either wouldn't spawn or there wouldn't be enough of them to complete the mission being attacked from the sky well okay not a good idea it's been there Scanning away, scan away, scan away. <laughs> okay. Alright, Riggs. Completed. It was the next thing to research. Cryo station, okay. that weapon on, I'm sure I did the yes, corrosive gun as well ionizer, we don't need that yet ok, I am good with all of those let's add that to the queue and that eventually needs to be on the queue Yeah, not um, tracking any volcanic bombs in the air. The threat thank you. has passed. Now we can assess the damage. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, so... There's Ferdinand's concentration. 
Okay, so what are we going after first? We can go after uranium ore. That would help us with nuclear power. Uh, or I am more tempted to go with hazelnut. Get that one first. Okay, let's hop over to this one. Um, actually, no. While we're here, I'm just going to dump one of those down. Just so we can come back here if need be. Um, a personal miners. Oh, you finished already. Okay, let's hop to Hazenart. There's two of these missions. Um, the style and yeah, the bigger maps do make these ones a little bit of a headache as well. Quite a few of the side quests, actually, the um, <laughs> the larger maps do cause a bit of a problem, just because of the distance that's needed to be covered. Whether it's scanners or pipes or weird things. Loading. A nice story rich campaign. And there's more expansions rich coming too. Successful. To this the campaign. Is very rich in hazenite. My scans have indicated an especially large deposit near our position. I recommend we go there first. A lot of the flora that grows here contains hazenite. Many Galatean plants have adapted to crystallize various minerals directly from the soil. Some fauna species feed directly on these minerals. It's a fascinating ecosystem. Yeah, I'm gonna try and ignore you enemies for now. I need to change my dash, prefer the, I think it's an, the energy dash. Come on, I'm just ignoring you all for now. You I can't ignore, unfortunately. You guys are just tend to be a pain. in this area, but it is not concentrated enough for my equipment to extract it. We have to search for it elsewhere. Hmm, there's a lot of these bulbous mushrooms growing here. They're feeding off of the hazanite from the soil and crystallizing it in a form that can be harvested. If we could accelerate their growth, then we could extract the hazanite using these natural organisms. We could construct a cultivator in this area to accelerate the growth of these mushrooms. We will need to supply it with filtered water to make it operational. Okay, let's get it done. Fun. Okay, so he said a cultivator. Yeah, well, there's the cultivator. But okay, so we're gonna put down our main base over here. And then we 
need to put some defenses up. area wind energy you down with a bunch of solar solar does provide more but then you need to store it Fences. Five and five. Okay, we'll put a level two uh, skies in. I'll also put a radar in. Technology out. has been yeah. developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Okay. And because this base will come under continuous attack. Okay, so I'm leaving five spaces between each one. Need another one of these already. Base is under attack. I, uh, I need to get a gate. A gate. A gate. A gate. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta clear out all these guys that are too nearby. helpful in this area. Okay, so a couple more of these. Really? Powers used looks like one more. enough what we can do is do our first repair tower do one there yeah okay yeah, we've built all of this and so now we need some water okay so one of the researchers i'm going to use is from the expansion you used to have to shift uh, ship the water in directly through this long set of pipelines But yeah, I'm gonna use this thing here. Let's put it as priority I actually want to get that a little bit soon that uh, we don't need immediately okay. but I need that compressor decompressor and this pipeline I don't really need that okay well what while we're here we can also build our harvesters Harvesters. Do three harvesters to one cultivator. Yeah, power issues. A new technology has been developed. 
New buildings are available for yes, construction. So yeah, decompressor. We're gonna put you over there. We wanna just check is production one hundred per second. We need uh, one hundred per second water. Okay, so that's enough. So now the next thing is we need to go find some water. Okay, on the map, do they have it marked for us? No. It's just a straight explore. So let's go see if we can find some water. Oh, hmm. Do you have mud right there? Looks like we've got sludge right here. Not the most easily defended positions. Let's see what else we can get. Those are some of the closest I've seen them in a while. New buildings are available for construction. Uh, I'm just taking a stroll around this area quickly. Okay, so we're gonna need sludge. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. This, this is 50 water. Okay, so we're gonna need at least two of them. So we're going to need some pumps. Pumps. We're going to need a compressor now. Okay. These guys need power. So, just do some this. don't have enough power. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna connect them to our main grid. This area as well. So let's do that. area quite like easily. Air towers, one on either side. Okay. That's we're gonna use this area for some more energy. The rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. Yeah, let's get these defenses up. Now the other one there. gets constantly attacked. It should be okay. 
what we'll do is we'll fortify, because they seem to come from a particular place all the time. We'll fortify that particular area. Uh, what we don't have is a teleport plate. Yeah. HP now, let's just have a look why. The cultivator is operational. Yes. It will require some time to bring these mushrooms to the size when we can harvest them in an efficient manner. We can automate the process of gathering resources and defend by constructing the a harvester building close to the cultivator. Excellent. I have a feeling that we should strengthen our defenses while we're waiting for the growth cycle to complete. Whenever we try to exploit any of the natural resources on this planet, we get attacked by hordes of aggressive creatures. So now we just wait and see where we're going to be attacked from. Just going to build another one of those in the meantime. Might only get attacked once that hits. Yeah, anything can be upgraded yet. Okay. I think we researching. Okay, that's. We are doing level two. Let's put that in the fort for ten minutes. Wrong. Environmental shielding. Let's. Oh no. Add to Q. Q. First. Weird stuff yet. New weapon. So let's go have a look. Chain gun. So that uses our hazelnut. Okay, I'm gonna replace the hazelnut, uh, the machine gun, and the other one that I use at the same time. The the rocket launcher. Where is it? Flamethrower. Because I like the the pairing. Those two and then those two. And I will normally try and upgrade them simultaneously. Okay, here's an attack coming in there. So it's going to go, come straight here. So let's increase the defense of this area. Add a couple more of these Wind in. Is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Second repair tower in. Yeah, I'm going to manually repair for now. Fog. Yeah, okay, I need to get out there. The enemies in this area can hide from our sensors. They are not as numerous as in the other parts of this biome, but they can be even more dangerous. Be wary, Ashley. I will not be able to warn you of incoming attacks. Bend both sides for now. A new technology has been developed. That's our heat shielding. The blueprints are available for crafting. Yeah, how are we doing here? Well, we can double check, actually. <clears throat> As if that is the best plant for our hazelnut. Have a look. 
Anything else with hazelnuts? Could be better. So here, this one is a 20% bonus, and we also get carbonium and biomass. Yeah, same thing, but it's only 16%. 6%. This gives me uranium. It's bulbous. No. Yeah, so it looked like this early one here. No. Yeah. So this guy is what we want. Brutus Florus. Okay. The is so we're gonna go Those to this guy, and we're gonna swap it out. A new technology has been developed. New buildings uh, are available for construction. Okay, equip. So now it will do those instead. Now what's cool is eventually, when if these get big enough, you can actually scan them. Okay, so this attack is always gonna come this side. Which is okay. Uh, we can increase fences a little bit for that area. Level two, see here they come. Be sure. That is a lot, man. Wow, okay. I think we need to do some extra work here. I'm just going to do these staggered walls again. Just means they will appear sooner and the, some of the towers can get more of a chance to do their stuff. Uh, is that cultivated? Yes, that is going next. Okay, yeah, well, while we're still waiting for that count, I think let's go carry on scanning. Maybe we can get our Max out the familiarity. Want to get these scans in. Discover new plants. More the new crystals that are interested in. I don't know, the, with the creatures, you don't get like a damage bonus, it just tells you what they strong and weak again. Okay. Exactly. 
him to do another one of those. to start crafting new equipment. Ashley, we can stay here and harvest more minerals, or we can return to our primary objectives. Base is under attack. Base should survive. These strong winds down. can make our life easier. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. A bunch of these. Landmines before we even think about calling Banning structure. Yeah, let's go scan. Hey, okay, here's the major hold. You don't want that stuff landing on you. As far as I know, there was... Okay, do you think I'll have time to pick this up? I don't think I'm going to get anything, because I've collected everything in the past. Just bonus, those type of bonuses. Yeah, so we've collected everything we need. So this will just keep going. Um, you'll see uh, uh, in this map I put down those two manual miners so that we're always getting from there. So this is everything we're getting from the farm. So when we visit there we can set up the hazenart. Um, Next one would be Tanzanite. Okay, so let's hop there. We'll and we'll finish the episode on this map. We'll just listen to the intro story. There. So that's what those water was actually relatively close that could easily just be popped around this will be the same with jump successful this area is very rich in tanzanite my scans have indicated two especially large condensations nearby i have marked their locations on our mini map interesting we've actually found an oasis in this desert it looks like one of those condensations is around a pool of liquid. We have to see this. Yes, that is art indeed. The second location appears to be a bit more standard. It is a large tanzanite deposit, hidden underground. It is spread out in a larger radius. Okay, okay. Have a look so we, we can put down our outpost. As as get there. Scan everything on our way there. Definitely worth scanning all the time. Okay, some new creatures. Oh, some lightning ones. Okay. Big one of those guys. Okay.
This is an actual oasis. It looks stunning. These cacti are growing like crazy near this pond. They contain a lot of tanzanite. We can harvest them to gather the resource. As yeah, well as you see, samples. we would have to do a power plant all that way. Yeah, so let's put a uh, outpost here. and then we will wait for the next episode to carry on here. Uh, leave my walls alone, please. Yeah. Warning! I'm detecting dangerous sun activity. Uh, no warning. There is no protected atmosphere over this desert. We're going to sustain damage. Yeah. So that's where I will save it. Yeah, well, thanks for joining me on this this episode. Uh, we will. These are but mana side quests. They're just for hunting the actual resources. They. Some of the later maps will get more, a little bit more exciting. It's just to build out these uh, resources. This is for a lot of it's used for the advanced weapons, <coughs> things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Cheers.